Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. Today we are in the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 150 Stroke 2. And I don't know if you can guess where we are from the last video, you probably should be able to. And to be honest, the video description will probably tell you where we are. No, oh, don't close the doors, we're not ready to go. Trains to Manchester, trains to Sheffield. Yet yeah, we're on the Hope Valley at Chinley and we're going to be driving a stopping service down into Manchester. Now I know what you're thinking, like why are you starting at Chinley Joe? You know, come on. Uh, you know, why Why are you doing that? Why don't you just drive a service over from Sheffield? Okay, well, we've already driven the route from uh, from Manchester Piccadilly through to Sheffield, uh, through to Sheffield. yet yeah, the other day, didn't we? We already drove it because we drove the East Midlands Railway, or East Midlands Trains, sorry, Class 158. And that was absolutely brilliant. If you've not already watched that, go back and watch it because it was a really, really nice run. Uh, now, what I strongly recommend uh, you do, uh, I've already done it, watch it, blah, 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 blah. sorry, I'm, I'm absolutely not with it today, let's pop uh, our old Manchester Piccadilly on the front there, I wonder if we've got it in our, uh, in our doodah. Yeah, now the reason for this is, um, of course, I want to show off the other section of this route. We've already driven via, uh, via Stockport, but also for your 24 99 you get this route to uh, to Romilly. Now it's raining because of course it's always raining in Manchester so maybe it will obscure the route a little bit maybe it will show it off to its uh, to its best capabilities but I think it's very fitting for Manchester which is why we picked it. So I think we're more or less ready to go. It's very dark in the train is it? Can we, can we put the lights on somehow? Train lights? No, inoperative. Right, you'll, you'll just have to sit in the dark everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. Guard says we're ready to go. Right, hang on. Yeah, just just bear with guard, please. Off we go. So, yeah, we're starting at Chinley. I was going to start at uh, New Mills Central. There is a scenario where you can start at New Mills Central, but unfortunately, it's broken, and it just crashes my game. I get an outer memory error with it whenever I try and load it. It, like, loads for maybe 10 seconds out of memory. So yeah, that scenario is not working on my computer. It might work on yours, so maybe me saying it's broken is a little bit unfair uh, because, of course, it might work on other people's. So it might just be mine. But yeah, mine keeps breaking. So I thought we'd just do a quick drive today, which is why you might have seen the 185 departing Chinley just then. Bit weird. Um, I thought we'd start at Chinley just so you can see the whole route, even that itty bitty section between uh, Chinley and, uh, or between the junction, sorry. Uh, which junction is it now off the top of my head? New Mills South Junction and uh, and New Mills Central. A tiny little bit of track, tiny little bit. Now, uh, yeah, with it being a quick drive, I don't quite know what's going to happen. It's saying the estimated time of arrival in the bottom is about half an hour away. It's 16.8 miles, uh, 16, yeah, roughly. Uh, so yeah, I imagine the quick drive is going to work the whole way through, but you can never be too sure with these. Uh, one of the quick drives wasn't working, it has been reported, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping this will. So we're just setting sail to the south now from Chinley. I don't think there's anything until the junction of particular interest. It seems that we're absolutely racing down, doesn't it? Absolutely racing down. There we go, yeah, New Mills up up valley to 35, so we're gonna have to slow right down here. I wonder, I mean, 150s, they do this route, don't they? Let's, uh, let's, have, a, let's have a little a little bit of a screenshot, look at that. Hurtling down the Hope Valley at more than we should be. No, I mean, not 75 is fine, isn't it? That's ace, love that picture. That is definitely going as the cover photo, unless we take a better one. Hang on, step two is not required. At about, should we say three quarters of a mile away, we'll start putting a bit of braking in. I reckon that should suffice, don't you? About there. Yeah, so I don't actually sign this route in real life, uh, which if you're not sure what that means, it means I don't actually work trains over this particular route. But I do have a couple of notes with me, so I should be able to point out uh, things of interest, hopefully. Uh, now, again, I might get it wrong, because like I say, I don't actually work over this route, so it's all a little bit of guesswork, but I'm sure between us, look, we've got the feather there, which shows we're off to the right-hand side. That's, uh, that's a good start. Now, hang on, 34 miles an hour. It's saying we should be at. Now, I picked a fault with this 
because it was only showing 54 when it should have been showing 60. This is now showing 34 when it should be. And, and I did kind of point this out to one of the developers and he said something along the lines of it's to do with them slowing down for the signals. Yeah, I'm, I, I, he kind of gave me some technical this is why it is. I didn't really understand that, but I don't want to sound like I'm not believing him because the fact he could... Look, it's gone to 34 again randomly. I, the fact that he could tell me a reason suggests that it's meant to be like that. For me, it's a bit weird. 34 is an odd number, um, but yeah, a little bit weird. But he did say it was meant to be like that, so we'll, we'll take it at face value. So that line we've just come off there, that is of course the line down to Hazel Grove, which obviously continues through to Stockport. That's what we drove up last time in our class 158. So this is all new territory for us. It's new territory for me. I've never been on a train in my life that comes down this section of track, so uh, it'll be definitely interesting to see. I mean, just round the corner here on the New Mills Down Romilly, uh, it goes to uh, it goes to 20. Frightfully slow. There must be something like maybe a bit of single track, maybe a weak bridge. No, hopefully not a weak bridge, but because uh, it goes straight back up to 60 by New Mills Central. We're going to... Good Lord, I wonder what it could be. I'm not saying that because I know what it is. Oh, is it, is it this bridge? Ah, it's a, it's a, a bridge. No. No, the 20 is after the bridge. It's, it's a tunnel, which is not okay. <laughs> it's a tunnel with a flat front. Oh, dear. That's no good. Uh, right, we're in the tunnel, but it's a very tight tunnel. Oh, it's done that thing it's done with Richmond Hill Tunnel, hasn't it? That'd be a lovely screenshot, but I bet it's ruined it on the other side. Oh, look at that. There's another 150 stroke one there. Oh, no, hang on. It works, that side. That's bizarre. Very bizarre. Right, hang on. Pause that. Let's go take some screenshots. Come on, this is... Oh, hang on. Look at that. That is lovely. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How do we... Let's, let's have a bit of that. Lovely. And I can't really take one of the... Oh, good lord, what's happening here? Excuse me, dear, can you get out of the track, please? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of little things with this line. Just a couple of little bugs that just need working through. So this is New Mills Central, where, of course, some services from Manchester Piccadilly do terminate. Uh, but, of course, today we are starting here. I imagine what happens is they come into here and then go back across. That seems sensible, doesn't it? There we go. Stop, 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 stop. So we're going to be stopping here. Lovely, lovely. Let's, uh, let's get the doors open. What we'll also do is take a nice little nice little picture. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. No, don't leave. I'm trying to photograph you. There's nothing worse than trains leaving when you're trying to photograph them. I don't know. Right, let's put the DSD on. The doors are open. So yeah, like I say, all new territory to me. There is a signal box here. I don't know if we've have we seen that signal box somewhere. Can't see it. Maybe it's is there a signal box? Maybe it's the chap in the ticket office. He just does a little bit. Oh, there it is. We've already driven past it. There we go. Oh, hang on. Sorry, guard. Wasn't paying attention. 60 miles an hour, off we go. Now, the first station on uh, today's journey is supposedly a little town called Strines. Again, these are all places that I have heard of from, uh, of course, being at Manchester Piccadilly working trains, because obviously when you're waiting for your train, you can hear the announcements. You can hear all these things like New Mills, New Town, New Mills Central, uh, Rose Hill Marple, that's another one. All these places that, like for me, suburban Manchester, I've just never heard of like ever. So it's quite nice to be able to actually see what they look like. And New Mill Central is actually fairly scenic. Look at that. That is beautiful. All the trees. All the trees. And it's not recycled trees. I mean obviously loads of those trees are going to be the same tree, are they? I mean that's just taken as a given. But, uh, but yeah, it's not obvious. It's not obvious. They definitely used a few different types of acid. Now, unfortunately, because I've picked the stupid weather, it means that it's going to be stupidly slippy. Marvellous. I have also picked August, haven't I? Yeah, because it's it's August now. No, it's not. It's September, you idiot. 
No slippy rails. I don't want to miss stations. Good lord. Yeah, come on. Right, strines. We'll, we'll get to about 60. No, we won't. We'll, we'll get to that and then we'll start slowing down. We'll just take it nice and steady. We don't have to rush, do we? We have all the time in the world. I think this is... I mean, the scenario where you start at New Mills reckons it's about 35 minutes. So, uh, this is... It's probably... I'm, I'm basing this video. I'm expecting it to be about 35 minutes in length. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll have a little bit of break in there. Again, nothing really that much to see. Just, just trees on either side. I wonder if there's a shelter. I'm hoping there's a shelter at Strines, otherwise some of our beloved passengers might be getting a little bit wet down here. I bet this is a bugger in leaf fall with all these uh, all these trees everywhere. I tell you, not good. Is that noisy? We are coming in fast here. Good lord, full service with the sander. There we go, that's better. I mean... I don't know quite what it's like at New... Oh, come on, stop, for goodness sake. Oh, yeah, okay, we've overshot a little bit. That's my fault. Completely my fault. But I don't believe that that's a correct platform gap. Perhaps I'm being a little... That is ludicrous. Surely it can't be like that. I mean, that is an absolute... You can't step up there. Your pelvic floor would give out. Good Lord. That needs to be a little bit higher, I think. I don't know why. Yeah, it's really low at that side. Surely that can't be right. I mean, I have an awful feeling that, like, it, it is right, because a lot of the platforms so far that I've seen on this particular route seem half decent. I think the one at Doran Totley is too far away. But obviously I've worked a train that stopped there, you know, so that... that Obviously I'm, I'm qualified to say I don't think the gap is like that. Yeah, just just dirt reporters, please, conductor, because we've we've just obviously uh, yeah overshot a little bit. We'll, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Little faux pas, little faux pas. Um, but <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I, I don't think the Darren Totley one was quite right. I don't think it was too far out, but it just seemed a tiny little bit far away. But surely that can't be right. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm hoping one of you in the in the comments section will put me right there and say, oh yeah, Joe, you're you're right there. Or, no, you're not. It's too much. Goodness only knows. So, just down here, we have a viaduct, apparently, that we're going over, called Goit Cliff Viaduct. Lovely. I mean, I'm, I'm imagining this isn't it. That's surely not Goit Cliff Viaduct. I mean, it might be. There might be a bigger one. Maybe that's just a bridge. But sometimes on the uh, on the railway maps that we're given to learn our way uh, for the route learning purposes, sometimes bridges like that are literally referred to on the railway as viaducts. But that that's just a little bridge, isn't it? Is this it? No, this is just a raised embankment, which is an excellent photo opportunity. Look at that. We'll have a, another zoomed in one. Oh no, we won't. There's too much shrubbery. Oh, great. Marvellous. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've, we've really kind of knackered it now, haven't we? Oh, this'll, this'll be Goit Cliff Viaduct. There we go. That's a viaduct, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, and a little extra bit where it's clearly fallen down at some point. Right, so coming round the corner now. Uh, the next stop is uh, Marple. Lovely. I wonder if that's where Miss Marple is from. Not to be confused with Rose Hill Marple, because there's like, there's Rose Hill, Rose Hill Marple, and Marple, which apparently are all different places. It, it just boggles the mind, it really does. <laughs> if you think about it too much, you'll know, steam will start coming out of your ears. Um, but yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's a shame we missed that, that would have been a lovely photo opportunity. I could have paused it, couldn't have, but you know. Quite steep again coming down here, but I guess we go a different way, don't we? Going into a tunnel here. This is Marple South Tunnel. Ironically, uh, oh no, it is south, isn't it? Because I've got the map upside down here so that I can read what's happening. But yeah, Marple South Tunnel. 
because we're actually heading northbound now. A little bit more braking. Let's actually stop properly this time, shall we? Rather than being too busy gassing and uh, and almost missing our stop. Again, Marple, I'm imagining, or maybe Rose Hill and Rose Hill Marple. Maybe Marple is Rose Hill Marple, because they did terminate a place called Rose Hill Marple. Oh, it's all a bit confusing, but there is a crossover there, like they could shunt out and, and shunt back in. That's a four car stop but we're going to overrun again. Flipping heck, I'm too busy looking at the scenery. It's because it's slipping, that's why. Right, well, okay. I mean, we're, we're only on a, a quick drive, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We're, we're just... There we go. That's... Uh, this is Marple. Hooray! Just Marple. Uh, so, yeah, they, they could potentially come there. Ah, look, there we go. 154 car. 1564 car. See, so, yeah, I reckon when they say Rose Hill Marple, they come to here. And, and shunt back across, look, look at that. I reckon they do that. Right, okay, uh, off we go again. Yeah, you picked the wrong weather, Joe, didn't you, to show off your terrible driving skills on this. Oh, yeah, it's slippy season, everybody. Do we have a sander on these? Yeah, we're, we're pressing it and nothing much is happening. There we go. I think that's where I'm going wrong. It's not that the brakes are terrible, it's that we're just sliding through stations. Right, so, dear me, we're coming up to Marple North Tunnel here, and shortly after that we should have a junction, which might be what this little 50 is for here. We've got a banner repeater above. There you go, so that's Marple North Tunnel. And then the junction we're coming up to where we meet uh, the line from Rose Hill is uh, is known as Marple Wharf Junction. Not just Marple Junction, but in fact Marple Wharf Junction, which is here. Wow, that is a tight junction, flipping heck. And it's even got the, the things on to, to kind of stabilise the, the doodars. Going over Marple Viaduct now, and uh, we're straight down into the town of Romilly. Which, of course, is why this is called the Romilly Diversion, because it goes via Romilly. Or, of course, for our company, it's called the Romilly Diversion, because we don't operate trains down here. But for Northern, that do operate stopping services, it's obviously just the, the Romilly line. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, for, the, for companies that have this as a diversion, but not an actual uh, service, place where you run trains down on a daily basis or an hourly basis. You know what I mean? It's not a normal it's not normal for us to run trains down here for our company. Come on, Q. Good lord. Right, I think we've missed that completely. Flipping egg. Pressing Q. It's because I had my finger on the X button for the sander. It didn't like X and Q together. For goodness sake, this is like the most unsuccessful drive, isn't it? You can tell why delays are caught via wet weather. Wet weather and slippy. Slippy season. Right, are we going? Come on, hold the sand down. Just remember to flipping stop your train at Romilly. I mean, I know I was like, oh yeah, we're, we're just dropping down into Romilly. We're, we're, we're now speeding up into Romilly, aren't we? Here we go. Now, I do know where the line that turns right at Romilly goes, because if I remember rightly, and there might be some of you that watch my NIMBY Rail series, there are trains that turn right at Romilly, aren't there? Although it might be, are we turning left? So the trains that, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah, we're turning left, right, okay. So the, the normal line goes straight on. Where does that bring you out then? I cannot remember for the life in me. I think it brings you out. Does it bring you out near Guide Bridge? I think it does. I'm not too sure. There we go. We actually managed. It's the first station we've managed to stop at properly. 
So yeah, we're going to go left and down there. Where does it actually take you? I know it's not simulated in here. Uh, there we go. So it goes up here. Where does it go up there? Woodley. Yeah, you, you can kind of go up there and back down again. I think. Yeah. Maybe. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, I, do you know what? It all confuses me. Suburban Manchester, like I say, it just... I, I don't know anything about it. It just confuses me. Now, there's a 150 stroke one coming the other way. God, it's a regular service, isn't it? Give him a wave as he goes past. Now, of course, we've got the, uh, the signal box here, but I don't know if that's still in operation. It's not highlighted on here like it might be. Oh, we've got uh, Romilly Junction there. So we go, yeah, off to the left and round to the right. So obviously that goes up. We go down. Yeah, I've got literally no idea where that goes. If you know where that goes, please do comment. Let me know. Let's have a little photo there. Lovely. You never know when you might need a photo. Next stop, Bredbury on this one. Again, another station. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this for every station. Like, another station I've heard of. I've heard of all of them because, again, you've heard them on the announcements. But it's, it's just really nice to. Like, I never knew that there was that that pretty little junction, that nice little viaduct. What was it? Goit, not Goit Cliff. Oh yeah, it was Goit Cliff just before Mar Marple, wasn't it? This here is Bredbury High Level Tunnel. I'm assuming there's a different tunnel that's at a low level. But then this is the railway, and you never quite know. Kind of what? What's what? Is there another tunnel down there? Well, maybe there was like a canal at some stage. I don't know. Probably not. Dropping down into Bredbury here. Again, I think it'll be a little, little two-platform station. There's no junctions coming up. I know that much. Yeah, just a, a standard. What I would call a standard Manchester station, by the looks of things. I know it's not like in Manchester, is it? But you get what I mean. It's like a standard Manchester station. Two platforms, a little square piece of canopy, like at Gatley, like at Maldith Road, for instance, is another one. And uh, and, and two platforms and an overbridge or an underpass. Ticket office is shut by the looks of things. Dear, dear me. Or is it a waiting room? There we go, doors are open. Yeah, they, they like these canopies in the Manchester area, don't they? The, the blue shutters for Northern. We've got, uh, oh, it's all been blanked over, so clearly this is the post-Northern Rail era. Ooh, I wonder... Oh, we can't read where that is! It's a texture, isn't it? But it's better than nothing. Oh, free city bus. And that is actually, there you go, Bredbury train station, look, Stockport Road East. That is actually the proper thing for here. That's brilliant. Love it. I was beginning to think it would just be a generic poster, but no, that is actually the map for this station. That's fantastic. Right, coming out of Bredbury now, that'll be the, the road, Stockport... East Road, or whatever it's called. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm so made up by that. That's lovely. And the next stop that's only a stone's throw away is the uh, the town of Brinnington. Going over some sort of that bridge there. It's like a... Oh, we're going over something else. I wonder what that is down there. That might be... No, it won't be Stockport's Daily Bridge line, will it? I don't know. It might be. I don't know. It's probably to do with this little doodah down here. Probably something freightish. Yeah, it won't be Stockport's Daily Bridge, will it? Well, what's this here? Oh, I thought we were getting some overhead wires then. I'm, like, I'm sure they don't have wires this far up. I mean, I know that I've said it before in the last video quite a few times, but I'll say it again because it really is deserving of praise this route. There's the odd little bug 
but this route is really impressive. The developers should be incredibly proud of themselves, every single one of you. Why have I not got this? Bredbury, Brinnington, I've not got this enormous... Oh, this is the M60! Oh, I've driven under this so many times! Look at that! I always wondered what... I mean, I knew it was a rail bridge, but I wondered what line it was, so it's on the Romilly line that you go over there. I love it. Absolutely love it. It didn't point that out on my map. The M60 bridge. Do you know what? If, if it hasn't got a name, I'm going to christen it. The Joe's Oh My God Bredbury Bridge. Oh no, because it's Brinnington Bridge. The Joe's Oh My God I've Driven Under That Brinnington Bridge. It's not a very catchy name, is it, to be perfectly honest with you? I think maybe the Brinnington Bridge is probably more catchy. A little bit of patchwork on this, where they've covered up the graffiti. I love it. Okay, I'm not stopping at the two-car board, am I? Brinnington Station, let's have a little look around. I like this looking around business. Now I've seen their old bespoke posters. What are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe that's not specific to Brinnington. Like Leeds to Morecambe and Carlisle. I think that's more a Leeds poster, don't you? That They might have nicked that from the Sheffield. But, uh, yeah, CCTV. That man's waiting for his train. Well, it's here now, sir. You may as well get on. I don't think there's another one any time. I sure they have a regular service from Quick Drive, don't they? What are you? You're a help point. Manchester to Sheffield Hope Valley Services. Yeah, they're, they're all bespoke posters, aren't they? I love that. And I actually went into the cab at a brilliant time. That I promise you, I did not know that the doors were closed and I didn't look. I know you'll be like, yeah, whatever, Joe, we don't believe you, but genuinely did not expect that. Now, next one now is a place called Reddish North. Heard of that? There's a few stations in Reddish, isn't there? Because one of the other Reddishes, is it Reddish East? Reddish Central? Reddish Parkway? I can never remember. Uh, but one of the Reddishes that's not particularly well used is on the Stockport Staley Bridge, so we might go over that or under that at some point. this. This is the reddish viaduct. So it might actually be here that we go under the... Well, we're not likely to go under it, are we? Come on, Joe. Think. Think. Is that it? No, that's a bit of... I mean, that is impressive, isn't it? That's lovely. Got the tower blocks in the back there. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't know where we go over it, so I, I'm not just being thick deliberately there, I promise. I don't have to pretend to be thick. It, it comes expertly to uh, to hand. Let's have another. No, the foliage is going to wreck it. Come on, speed up a little bit. Oh, it's, it's not having it. Now we're going to try again. Oh. Why can't I hear the engine? Like, at all. <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's have a little bit of step braking. Now, after Reddish North, we do have two stations called Rigerbrow and Bellevue. But for some reason, when I was on uh, the one of the scenarios that did the Sheffield run, they didn't stop at Rigerbrow and Bellevue. So I think maybe it's the new Mills services that stop at Rigerbrow and Bellevue. But what that means is that I'm not going to stop there, because it's like we've come from Sheffield on this stopper, isn't it? I'm not going to stop there, because it's 9.46 in the morning, so it's not a peak time service anymore. We're going to go hurtling through, and uh, I think after Reddish North, our next stop is Piccadilly, because that seems to be how they do it in real life. Maybe it was just this one particular service, but yeah, that seems to be how they do it. So we'll run fast from here. Maybe it's because there's not much there. But again, you'll probably say, oh, well, they didn't stop at so and so so they don't normally stop at that particular one. But, yeah, never mind. Never mind. We've got a customer help point. We've got a nice little graffitied do that. Oh, that's a, that's a waiting room that could actually be genuine as well. 
No, because that's got a car park on the other side. Okay, maybe not that door, but, but this door is believable. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. That's nice. Oh, hang on. Doors are closing. Right, off we go. Come on. Full steam ahead. See if we can get away without our wheels slipping. There mustn't be a lot of trees around here. Oh, there's another 150 coming the other way. A lot of 150 stroke ones in around here. Give him a little wave. Hello. Now, again, I don't think there's any particularly big landmarks to point out to you around here, but Ryderbrow and Bellevue are less than half a mile away from each other. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Why don't they just knock the pair of them down and put one long station in between the two? Because if you start running, you know, in, in the future, and I mean, I'm talking, like, far in the future here, but imagine in the future if, like, we had 12-car 377s running down here. You'd be able to board at one end, run through, and get off at the other, wouldn't you? You know, you'd be able to leg it from one to the other. That's just mental. Yeah, no, sorry. Oh, look, they're all waiting. They've not got their weather gear on either. Not one of them's got a coat on. They'll catch a death. There's a shopping trolley at the side there. That's brilliant. Is it a shopping trolley or just a, a plain old luggage trolley? Just a just a trolley. Look, there you go. Brilliant. That is uh, saying a lot about the area. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just upturned trolley just by the bridge, and it was great that all the clutter was under the bridge, like things have been thrown off. The the people on this, it's the little details. Those of you that have been to my channel will be rolling your eyes now because you're like, yeah, you never show up. Look at this. Loads of things near the bridge. And then as you get further away from the bridge, it fades away. Brilliant. It's the little details like that that just make a route for me. Absolutely make a route. Or an OMSI map, or any other game that you play. Little things like that. And that is, this is the first train sim route that I've actually noticed that. Which is awesome. I mean, you might be sat there piping up saying, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there you go, bridge, load of rubbish. We're coming into Manchester now, aren't we? So it speaks volumes. But, yeah, it... You might be there like, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about this room? Okay, yeah, it's just the first one I've noticed it on. There you go, covering myself. I'm just not a very observant person, if you point out a big long list of routes it's done it before on. So here we go, picking up the wires here. We're about to join on uh, to the line that comes from Guide Bridge, which is, co is of course, why we're getting wires, because that's where the 323s go, down to what Hadfield, even, and Glossop. There we go, we're under the gantries, but not under the wires. Sort of a, a hybrid mishmash. As if they meant to do it further, and then just never did for whatever reason. So joining here, this is Ashbury's East Junction. And uh, I'm sure it won't surprise you that the next station after this is Ashbury's. There we go. Right, we're on 60 now, so we'll, we'll whack it up to 40. And of course, Ashbury's is where the uh, the ROC, uh, the Regional Operations Control Centre, ROCC, for Manchester is. There's a lot going on in there. I've been in there. can't remember why I went in there, but I went in there once. And it, do you know what? They've done a pretty good job with Ashbury's. I'm, I'm impressed with that. The platform gap is correct. Oh, hang on, let's just... There we go, and I mean, we've driven down this before, haven't we? With the Huddersfield to Manchester line. Of course, it's a different version completely, and I would argue that this is better because these are all bespoke assets. The other one uh, is a freeway route, of course, that does use a lot of freeway assets. Don't make it a bad route, but of course, this just pips it to the post. But obviously, unlike uh, the Huddersfield route, you can't drive to Huddersfield on this line. You know what I mean? So, you know, pros and cons to each... But uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. We're coming down into Ardwick now. You've got the Ardwick Depot, Siemens and Transpennine on the right there. Very, very interesting that they've actually sold the route via, uh, via um, what's it called, Just Trains. 
with the brandings on. I suppose they could argue that that is not the sole purpose of this route. They're not profiteering from that brand. Okay, but yeah, I, th I thought maybe they'd have blanked that out or had a branding patch or something. But it doesn't appear they do. Ardwick Station, which I just think looks the saddest station in the world. Look, it's all overgrown at one end. It, nothing ever stops here apart from a few a day. It's got this rusty bridge that looks like if you stand on it, you'll go straight through. And I just... Out of all the stations in the country, it just looks the saddest. And of course, this is uh, Ardwick Junction here, as we are coming into Manchester Piccadilly. So you've seen all this before. We've got Piccadilly East Junction just further down here, and of course, Manchester Piccadilly. So yeah, I mean, that was about, what was that, 35 minutes? By the time we've stopped, closer to 40 minutes. It's absolutely brilliant. You've got those two routes via Stockport and, of course, via Romilly. And I think both routes have equal attention to detail. I think they've done a really good job. Okay, there's a couple of little things. A couple of little bugs that need ironing out, like that tunnel. But that could be my computer. You just never know. But that tunnel uh, up, at, up at wherever it was, Marple, uh, New Mills even, that could perhaps do with a little, you know, just a little, little tweak. Little tweak, little tweak. Uh, and a couple of quick drives that just aren't quite working correctly. But yeah, a couple of bug fixes, only minor, you understand. I'm not trying to rip holes in the product. It's only minor little creases that need ironing out. Uh, but yeah, after that, this is an absolutely banging route. Absolutely fantastic. Cannot recommend it enough. And if I have managed to convince you, then click in the, uh, the description. There's a link straight to this product. It will be one of the best routes that you ever purchase, but do be aware that it does require the Sheffield to Derby add-on to function because it's like a, an add-on for an add-on. So you might say, oh, you said it was $24.99, but there's another route here I've got to buy. Yep, that is a bit of a bummer, but that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. <laughs> I wish I could say something different. But, uh, oh, another another little gripe. I forgot to mention it in the 158s. We were out the, uh, out the other end, weren't we, on 13 and 14? I think Piccadilly looks too clean on this. I don't think there's enough grime and dirt. But apart from that, yeah, I cannot recommend this add-on enough. And let me know what you thought of this in the description because, you know, I might be hyping this up. A couple of people say I get too excited and perhaps give a biased view, uh, review on the product, but I can honestly say I'm not affiliated with Just Trains at all. I only know one of the developers loosely. Uh, a mere acquaintance. I've not been bribed. I had to pay for this route. There's been no... Uh, oh, hang on. What happened there? Yeah, there's been no kind of persuading me to say nice things. This is a brilliant route. They deserve all the credit. Let me know what you think. Do you agree in the comments and why? And of course, click the like video. Uh, click the like button for the video. Always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.